Today we're going to look at how to set up an unlimited number of deductions and benefits in Drake Accounting. In essence, you are creating a database of deductions and benefits which can later be assigned to individual employees. Please see the employee setup video for more information. To begin, highlight the client from the client selector screen, then choose employees and select deductions and benefits. Click the Add button in the upper left corner of the Deductions tab. Red validators appear, which means you must complete those fields before saving the information on the screen. Enter the deduction name as it should appear on the pay stub and payroll reports. If you are doing bookkeeping for this client, select the appropriate account number from the account drop list. The account number is not required if you are not keeping the client's books. Enter the amount for the deduction. If you enter a ceiling, Drake Accounting no longer withholds the deduction for the employee when they meet the maximum deduction. For multi-location clients, select either all or a specific state this deduction applies to. When a specific state is chosen, the deduction only applies to payroll in that state. Within the Other Properties section, select whether the deduction amount is based on dollar cents or percent from the Based on drop list. If you select percent, make sure the deduction amount is entered as a decimal. Based on hours worked means Drake Accounting calculates the deduction by multiplying the amount by the number of hours worked entered in payroll. If the deduction is taxable, check the appropriate box or boxes under Deduct After Tax. Next, under Exempt From, check the box or boxes if the deduction is exempt from FUDA, SUDA, SDI, or Wage Garnish. Check whether you want the deduction to apply to Box 10 or Box 14 on the W-2. If applicable, select which letters to display in Box 12 on the W-2 from the drop list. The matching benefit contains all of the benefits entered under the Benefits tab. If you select a matching benefit, the deduction amount is forced to match the benefit amount. Now we're ready to enter the employer's benefits by clicking the Benefits tab. Click the Add button in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Enter the benefit name as it should appear on the pay stub and payroll reports. Again, if you are doing bookkeeping for this client, choose the appropriate account number for the benefit from the account's drop list. Enter the amount as well as the ceiling for the benefit. For multi-location clients, select either all or a specific state the benefit applies to. Just as with setting up a deduction, choose whether the benefit is based on dollar cents or percent. Select the appropriate taxing and income options from the drop list. Make any adjustments in the benefit subject to and apply to fields as needed. As with deductions, if applicable, select which letters to display in box 12 on the W-2 from the drop list. Once your deductions and or benefits have been created, click Save. If you ever need to make changes to a deduction or benefit, simply select the deduction or benefit you wish to change and make the edits. Select Save to save the changes and apply them to newly added employees moving forward. Select Save and Apply All to apply changes globally to all employees. If you do not want to change the amount or ceiling when updating employees, deselect those options at the bottom of the screen. For more information, visit accounting.drakesoftware.com.